Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess if you're new around here and if you're not new around here then welcome the fuck back sweetheart. It is great to have your face here today. Today's video is a video that has been long due. I have been working on this for a while now. I recently moved back to my mum's house and I wasn't happy with how the room that I was staying in was so I knew that I had to redecorate the fuck out of the bitch and turn it into me. You know like pink princess girly Jess vibes you know. So that is exactly what I've done. This video is basically a bedroom makeover vlog. I'm gonna be literally taking you through all the steps that I did to change my room from the beginning to now. I literally vlogged the entire process of redecorating my room from the carpet to literally everything. The carpet is the biggest transformation because there was no flooring in here before. Let me show you a quick before of what the room looked like. If you're new around here, I really recommend subscribing. It actually costs you absolutely nothing. You can thumbs up now, like if you know you like it already, or you can wait during like the middle or the end or whenever you wanna do that. But like, I really, really would recommend you subscribe. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Without further ado, <laughs> let's get into it. In Dunelm, I picked up this extendable, uh, what's it called, tension rod. I never knew that there was a thing called a voil, which is like like neck curtains, but not as fancy and kind of a bit more basic. So I got this slot top single voil panel, sheer elegance. And this was a fiver, and this pole was 350. Basically, I've got no nets up, and so I can't just be naked in my room and have the curtains open. Ordered the carpet today, so sexy. Oh. Ugh, it's so sexy honestly it's like medium to dark pink with like an orange undertone it's really lovely and it's gonna look so nice with the white walls and everything so this is it so i'm getting married oh yeah it's like a veil it's a <laughs> hello how do you that's not how you have a veil was it how do you have a veil you clip it on and just have it like that anyway enough of the bullshit dun -dun -dun -dun. Ah, itchy ankle. Look at that, nice. Who needs to fucking get neck curtains tailored? You could just get one of these. Come on. Yes. 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 So the day has come. <laughs> and I am tired and unprepared as usual. But my carpet is getting late today, so I um, need to get rid of get all my shit out of my room basically. I don't know why I left it so long. <laughs> Common conundrum of man. Good people question if there is one. Well, bad is soon good. Disregard the tally victims. Think it's pretty hard living knowing father was a ladder. What if my blood goes splatter? There's pollock gonna matter at all. If I fall, would you catch me? find the charger so we're on the Huawei's. Um, look how much I'm sweating. The room is mostly empty. They said they can move the wardrobe and I reckon I'm gonna try and move those. So. <laughs> okay, Ooh, very nice. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some white paint and I'm gonna just like paint around these bits cover up some marks like over here I'm gonna cover this up go around here I don't need no mans I'm my own mans uh oh 
it's gonna have to do. I'm sweating. That's okay. It's only a little gap. <laughs> so, <laughs> until I buy a mattress, I've got a block bed. I would buy a mattress, but I don't want to be spending money on that right now when I've only got like hundred pound on my account. To be honest, I'm fucking cream crackered, mate. I am knackered. I'm fucking tired. I'm hoping it fits in this cove, because that would be really great. Space wise. You know what I mean, like? Come with me, my friend. I'm in love. Yes, I'm a believer. If I try. over a TV in the process. I always get worried that I'm gonna blow it up too much and it's gonna explode. Please fit. <gasps> it fits. Oh. oh my gosh, yeah. It means that I can sit like this, sit like this. Ooh. I'd say that's success, uh, I'd say that's success, wouldn't you? Now with me, loving you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you how good it feels to have a carpet in my room. And not only is it about the carpet, but it's about that I got space in this little in this little cove to fit my mattress. It has been so long since I done anything physical, emptying a room, refilling the room in one day, and then also reorganizing the downstairs cupboard. I organized the cupboard that's under the stairs because I had stuff in this room that I wanted to put under the stairs because I didn't need it. And I can't get into the loft because we ain't got no ladders. So, you know, um, I tried to get up into the loft not long ago. Honestly, it's terrifying, but it wasn't, it was. I haven't done anything physical like this in Ages, but it feels so good to be active. I was gonna have a bath. Can't be bothered. Changed my clothes though, so I'm not in the same dirty clothes as I was when I was moving everything around and I was sweating like a bitch. My tits were wet, my back was wet, my groin. You know when you you got that sweat mark on your knickers from your groin? Yep. Yeah. That was me, bitch. That was me. All right, so I'm having a slight predicament. Basically, I broke my wardrobe. It's still standing, however, I don't know whether it was this or something else, but there's like this bar, that oh not a bar, but a wooden panel at the bottom underneath, at the front, which I just thought was there for decorational purposes, but clearly it actually held the balance of the wardrobe together. So now the wardrobe is like this, and like it's hard for me to pull out drawers and close doors and stuff. And to be honest, I was thinking about replacing it anyway. I've got two clothes rails at my nan's house, nice black ones, one's a big, one's a little. And I'm thinking about actually just scrapping the wardrobe and just using the rails. I have drawers as well that I can bring down and I think I might upcycle them because they're a bit butters. But where I've got my desk at the moment, it's a bit awkward because if you can see, the space on that side of the window is less than that side. And so that means that the desk comes out there and it makes it quite awkward because I don't want to put the desk right up to the top side there. So I just got my measuring tape out and I actually just measured it and actually it will fit over here on this side, that gap at the bottom had a panel. <laughs> I mashed it up, but whatever. I think I might take the wardrobe apart tonight. You know, I might go to my nan's and get the rail and the chest of drawers. I've got curtains at my nan's and a new light and my light thing. So I might actually just get all that right now. What time is it? What time is it? It's quarter to five. I think I might have to. Yes, yeah, so I reckon I'm gonna do that. I might go to my nan's now. Hello, nanny. It's your favourite grandchild. I no. need to come and get some stuff. <laughs> I'll do you. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go to nanny, shall we? Right. I'm at my nan's and I'm just looking at this chest of drawers to see what's going on. It's a bit of an odd chest of drawers. I must admit, it's kind of strange. It's not like many others. <laughs> I'll show you. So this is the chest of drawers. I've taken one drawer out. Um, it's weird because this side, like this, it's got this extra part and down there, and I have no fucking clue what that's about. Um, also, so I moved into my nan's house a couple of years ago and I bought a bunk bed. Obviously, my nan's not going to want a bunk bed, so I guess I can try and sell it, but then I guess I need to find the instructions and I need to take it apart and I need to 
make sure I keep all the pieces for whoever wants to buy it. I don't know how it's going to work. I was thinking about taking the desk. I was thinking about taking this. I just don't know. There's so much stuff. But I have taken off the lamp, the light fitting, no, the light shade. And I've taken the curtains. So that's the lamp shade. That's coming with me everywhere I've been for the past few years. I've got a washing basket. That's the rail. Um, yeah. Okay, so. How's that glare? Bad. Can you see all that? Chest of drawers, okay? Now, like I said, I'm about to move this desk over here, but that means I need to take off the doors and stuff from the wardrobe to be able to move it. And I have basically broken the wardrobe, so we'll see if there's any fixing of that. I stole a screwdriver from my nans. I can't even explain to you yet how good it feels to have like a screwdriver that's good. So if there's any tool companies out there that wanna send me a tool kit, please, I'm begging you. You know what else I'm in the market for, looking for? A really good knife set really want a nice knife set so i can um really chop my vegetables with ease do you know what i mean anyway so um that's what i'm gonna do so shall we have like a little um little time lapse or <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey. With me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky can get high with me. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me. Change of plan, having to take the wardrobe apart. I'm gonna get rid of it because you see that? Yeah, there's no moving that. Well, okay, to so the wardrobe has just been dismantled with the help of my mother. <laughs> Thanks, mother. How do I want? No, see that's not right because the skirts have got to be at this end. As you can see, I am organising the clothes rail. I've always loved clothes rails. I'm very excited to be that bitch. Maybe I can film in front of it. Hello, my friends on YouTube. Wait, by the way, my tits is starting to be is starting to get turned off. Slender. I was thinking, do I be like, do I be really extra and buy hangers that are like fancy? But that's just really, it's not necessary to spend extra money, is it? When, you, when I've got hangers that I've collected from a range of stores. There's no point buying new ones. Like I want those fancy black ones or those fancy like metal ones, you know? But it's just not necessary, is it? It's very extra. Oh. Hello, we went to Dunelm today. <laughs> and let me tell you about Dunelm. I'm a sucker. I'm actually a sucker. I can't believe that I spent 18 pounds on this, but I just had to. Let's hope this cube does some great cube activities. Basically, I wanted like a little, like an ottoman or something, you know, but I can't really find one. Like one that I wanted to be able to sit on it, and I have a feeling I might be able to sit on this, but we'll see. You know, no, we're definitely not gonna be able to sit on this. What is that colour about? How did I not realise that that was the colour of it? Wait, what? Oh my god. What did I just spend my money on? I think I just paid £18 for this lid, to be honest. Look at it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Should we see if I can sit on it? <laughs> I'd say that's a, su a successful seat. Huh, that's actually not bad. Let's get a close up. Yeah, it's nice. I got these curtains. These are the curtains that I bought for my nans. They're quite sheer, but I'm just gonna put these up until further notice. I really want some crushed velvet curtains, but my nan said they'll be a bitch to like clean. Anything's better than these. I cannot, I cannot have these in my room anymore. I can't have these in the background. My pictures, my videos, nothing. Oh no, my box has folded itself for fuck's sake. So first of all, what I need to do, so I need to analyse the situation. I need to see what we're working with up here. Cobwebs, we're gonna need to sort that out. Right. There is a bug up here. Oh, there's a dead spider up there as well. Oh my god. I hope you lots are checking the curtain. Rods. Okay. Twist and pulse. Twist, twist, twist. Oh, hello there. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one since the end. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. But we get to clean your balls. Okay. Mmm. Okay. 
Hi. Hello. Hello. Is someone in there? Hello. Did you know that if you hold the balls of a curtain pole to your ear, you can hear the ocean? Come on, try it. Try it. I dare you. I need shit. Oh. You see, I just moved my phone out of the way. <laughs> That's what happened. One for you, my Julie. Another one for you, my other Julie. Come on then. Come on then, my two Julies. Let's go. What's that in the garden? Is that a fox? Ah, hello, Mr. Fox. Oh my god, I'm farting bell. I just had Chinese, that's why. The fox is on the fence, the the, the, the shed next door. Flipping around. <sighs> that fucking stinks, bro. Oh, that's actually butters. Oh, I think I'm gonna shit myself, to be honest. Oh, I think I'm actually gonna stop pushing out farts. I'm gonna shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually, can you see I'm squeezing my bum cheeks to get more? I already had tofu and rice and spring rolls and chips. Do you think it's the tofu? Yes. Absolutely. These are from H&M Home. <laughs> I love a bit of H&M Home. I like Next Home as well. I like all the homes. Oh, this looks ten times better already. Oh, yes. Open up the safe, bitches got a lot to say. Oh, pussy in your face, that'll put you in your place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ta-da. You, you can see what I'm going in for. Yeah, we're going for a mixture of pinks in this room. I don't want to look like I'm trying to match pinks together. I want them all different shades of pink. But look how long they are. Maybe I can cut them. No. If I cut them, I think we know they're just going to be like this at the bottom. So Next thing we've got, a light shade. I just love iridescent and I just think it will really set off the room. And it matches my new fluffy stool. Oh, guys, I really need to shit. I'm not going to get electrocuted, am I? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, what's your beef? There's like a little ring. Like a cock ring, you know? Oh, good, good save. Oh, come on. Why have you got to do this? Ha ha! Suck on. Suck on that, bitch. Oh, yes. This is the vibe. And we're in. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? You see what I mean? Now that is a fucking light shade. It looks very cute, very cute, very fetch. Oh, what these boxes from Some Dunham. girls cannot choose to just kick you out because they feel like it. So we're going to organise our stuff into that. Sucks off. Ten toes down to the ground right now. Right now? Right now. Think I finally figured out who I am, what my style, but I keep my soul to the ground. Thinking up, up, up. Keep that ego in clown. Rather clown all out by myself right now. Big, big man, like my ship is all sound, like no water on board, like I'm not about to drown. I'm gonna keep it all on, man. Quite a while back, when I was at my nan's, I was going to paint the wardrobe and change the knobs for it. So I bought these two little rose quartz knobs. Yes, yeah, so I bought two of these. And so um, I think I might buy some more. And I'm just gonna put them on the drawer right now, just because. I don't want to put them away and forget about them, so that's what I'm going to do. Annoyingly, I know I should have put it at the top, but there's so much stuff in that drawer that I couldn't even. I just couldn't even, you know? So let's see how cute this is going to look. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I need to buy some more now. Oh no, they were expensive though, I think. Wow, that's crazy. What a difference that makes. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, okay. Dowly dooly dooly. Hello. Hello there. In this segment of the video, we are going to be doing the famous um, cloud mirror thing, but to my whiteboard. I was going to do it to the mirror, but I was like, 
to be fair, I don't really have anywhere else to put another mirror in here. And also, I wanted a whiteboard for my wall so I can plan my life and my schedules and all that stuff, you know. Because it comes like this, doesn't it? Just grey, ugly. So I decided that surely I should be able to do it to this. So let's hope this shit sticks. Let's hope this shit works. Let's hope this shit doesn't go anywhere else. I've never used this before in my life. I don't know how I'm going to hang it on the wall because this wants me to fucking get an electric screwdriver, electric drill, and drill it into the wall. But obviously I'm going to have the fluffy bit on there. So I'm probably just going to end up having to prop it up, which is actually not ideal, is it? But, you know, <laughs> you live and you learn. <laughs> so, you know. Wear safety goggles. Check. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Shall we? Oh, where should I go from? I'll go from up here. Oh, why have you stopped? Why have you suddenly stopped? Yeah. Alright then. This is quite fun, you know. Has anyone got any holes they need me to fill? Come and let me fill your hole. <laughs> I think I need a better technique. It looks like whipped cream. Ooh. Ooh. That was good. That was a very good run. Okay. For like that seems okay. Obviously it's not, you know, equal everywhere. Some sides are thicker than others. That left side is looking a bit weak actually. Should we do something about that? No. It will be okay. So hello. I'm gonna come back in about an hour and a half, see how it is then. Okay, okay. Okay, so it's probably been about two hours actually. Uh, I've had a whole outfit change, and um, I'm going to do the, the touch test. Oh, this is like, it's like a meringue. See, the style in which it came out of there is different to here. <laughs> is it going to be stuck? That's my question. And I realised that I didn't actually get all the way like, covering the metal. This is definitely not the right kind of paint, but this is wall paint and I don't want to buy any new paint, so I'm going to use this and that's just that. Right is that pink? That doesn't look pink. So I realised, I realised, <laughs> I realised, oh I've also got hot so I took my top off and it's white. Um, I realised that there's going to be nooks and crannies I can't get into, so I've got this little one. And I just found that I've got this gold paint. So maybe I might be able to do something with that afterwards. Well, 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 what do we have here? I'd say that is quite successful, to be honest. It has taken me about an hour and it's still not perfect. But I just need to see how it's going to dry because obviously the paint is not paint that's <laughs> specified for stuff like this. So... Yeah, but I like it. I think it's cute. So, lads, hello.
hello. This is the door where you come in, okay? This is the situation. Now, I like to say that this is mostly completely done, to be honest. There's not much more I can do to it. So as you walk in, I've got my two plants here. It's been a while, so I've had to uh, sort this one out, but we have new babies growing. There was a lot more, but they all died. And I'm realizing that it just wanted to let space for new ones. And then I've got my Calathea here. She was up here before, but she wasn't really, uh, you know, living her best life. She was a bit captured, you know, encaptured over there in that corner. So I put her here for now. We'll just see how that goes. And then here I have my amazing, super high end, super good for your back mattress. Now, what I like to call this blow up chic. So this is my blow up bed <laughs> up here is my painting of myself, which is not in the middle of the wall. I need to get another one and I need to put it there. <laughs> this over here, this is my little, let's have some fun sugar hun corner. <laughs> this is where I keep my toys, uh, right next to my uh, bear that I've had from a baby. His name is Bernard and the book that I'm reading. This is another plant that I have, which has sprouted this amazing little leaf here. And uh, this lamp, it's a colour changing lamp, but it's not going to show right now because it's light outside. Got my mirror with my uh, the finest of decorations on top. Big up. It matters. This might be one of my favourite things in my rooms. Is this little wire basket with wrapping paper in it. I collect <laughs> rolls of paper. It's just like, you know when you get those individual wrapping papers in the shops and stuff? I basically just collected them because I like them. I use them as backdrops. Well, I used to anyway, you know? I was actually going to end up painting this, but I actually like it. It's kind of like antique. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this, I honestly don't know how to organise this. I need some fashion tips, basically. But we've got a collection of things. We've got my Himalayan salt candle. We've got my begonia. We've got my humidifier back there. And my uh, vulva cast. This little oil burner. My incense. Then we have my crystallos. I'm back here. My fake plant candle. And then we have our sage in this lovely fanny pot. I opted for a clothing rail because I really don't like the way that wardrobes look, but my nan only went and told me that wardrobes are better because dust. Why did I not think about dust? Why did I not, not think about the fact that my clothes are gonna be covered in dust? I guess if you can't see it, it can't hurt you, you know? Then under there, we actually have a bookcase. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Over here, we have my desk area. Now, this is actually an Ikea kitchen table, but I like a big desk, so that's what we've got. This is my whiteboard that I DIY'd. However, I can't get it on the wall, so um, I'm gonna really have to figure that out because it is annoying here, but it still looks cute, weird, and strange. Here we have my, uh, my little corner of shenanigans, basically. Got my anti backhand gel, always baby cakes. And here is where I sit my laptop on top of. And then here are my desk plants. I've decided that I like them here. I think it's a great order. Here is the cheese plant. Absolutely fucking love this plant so much. My prayer plant is actually doing pretty okay in this new pot. I think she's happy. And then Lily over there, she's bloody living her best life. <laughs> Here, I put my little baby plant in my mug that I can no longer drink from because the ceramic broke, but I had to use it and I love it so much. It's doing really well in here. My string of pearls, let's just see how that goes, but I don't think it's happy. Um, my Zabrina is um, all over the place, but absolutely gorgeous. It has grown so much, like it was so little when I got them. And now they're living their best lives, really. Overall, I am so happy with my room. I just feel so much better when I walk into this room now. Just when I open the door and I'm just like, oh yes, this is my room. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. It couldn't be any better for what I could have afforded and whatnot. I feel like I've done quite a good job, to be honest. And I really don't mind sleeping on a butt mattress for now until I can afford to buy an actual mattress. If there's any mattress companies out there, you know, hit a bitch up. I would really appreciate my back not being in pain like all the time do you know what I mean I really wanted some more plants but I actually don't think it's responsible of me to do so because plant mom life is actually not as easy as I thought it was going to be it would turn out to be um, a bit of an upkeep you know I want to say a huge thank you to plants for sending me most of these plants to be fair big up them check them out link down below I really enjoyed making my room the way it is pink princess vibes am I right it is the dream and this is my childhood dream just the pink princess room I do need a bit more storage I think I need like some smart 
storage and I do want to get the whiteboard on the wall <laughs> that would be great but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did thumbs up subscribe do what the fuck you want to do but most importantly have a wonderful day and a wonderful life and please remember you are not alone anything you think you're going through that you feel like you're alone in trust me you're not there are so many people that have been through it and are going through it right now if you want to join the Facebook community group that we have called comfort community that would be amazing link is down below and if you feel like you need to make a friend or you need to chat then there's always people on there that will chat to you and send you some love and hugs and warm kisses bitch okay yeah i hope you enjoyed the video have a wonderful day and a wonderful life and i'll see you back here very very soon much love peace